So, hey everybody, so we're gonna do the last part of this video. This is about what's on the computer. When you get the GT1, um, I'd recommend downloading this software. Unfortunately, one of the bad things, the few bad things about the GT1 that I'm gonna go ahead and say, number one, I did keep calling it GT, GT5 in the other video. I had the expression pedal on my mind because I'd love to get that. Um, so I wouldn't mainly have to push the button like we did on Shine On You Crazy Diamonds. Second of all, when I did Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, the guitar's kind of dry because there's no ambient sound in the background. If you listen to the CD, he has that going on. Um, and I didn't have a metronome, so I'm sure I'm off on a lot of things. But the point was that was to show you how you would use this processor in that kind of environment. Um, number two, the GT1 does not come with any cables whatsoever. That's kind of annoying because you got to buy them. Okay, that includes the adapter. Make sure you get a good approved adapter uh, for Boss. And the cable that hooks it to the t to the computer that doesn't come with it either. And the other thing too is there's no on and off switch. Your on and off switch is plugging your guitar cable into it, which is kind of weird because in this case I don't want the I'm not going to play the guitar. Okay, so the guitar's not connected on the other side. Um, and then the other thing too is there's no metronome. Now those are little things. For what you get for the product, those aren't worth saying no. They're they're not like a let's not do it. It's just I wish they had those features, okay? Especially the metronome. Now the cool thing is you can connect your phone to it. Uh, there is an adapter, and I do that quite a lot, and it actually sounds good. So you can connect your phone to it, um, and you can use your metronome for it, or just play you know an ambient sound to play to it or whatever you want. Now with saying that, uh, let's look at the interface. I'm going to keep it very short. Um, let's look at shine on. Um, first of all, there is this tone center center. If you click on this, um, this pulls up a lot of stuff. Now I downloaded the Steve Luker third collection. As you can see, that's one of the last ones I was playing with the Marty Friedman. Of course, I love him. And there's a lot of good stuff you can just download. That's already there, which is really cool. Um, I recommend doing that. That alone is worth the money to be honest with you. Um, because if I went into some of these like patches you heard, they came from these like wind cries, purple fog. You heard me talk about that. Uh, there's the pink wall where I did the pink Floyd one. Um, I didn't do the Panama lick. I don't know why. I think I just didn't see it. I didn't do this one either, but there are a whole bunch through here. Okay. But let's talk about how you would do this. So if you go back to your editor, if you look on shine, um, remember I said it's important to know your pedals. Okay. Now, if I look at my first one, this pedal here is not turned on but as you can see it's my my foot pedal okay i can make it a cry baby um, there's a lot of options i can do just by it okay now if i turn it on click now it's on and i can pick one of these and i can set it however i want it okay let's go and turn that one back off because it wasn't being used anyway if i look at fx so david gilmore was big on using a compressor so here they're using the boss compressor i'm going to be honest i downloaded this preset and then i modified it for myself because I wouldn't have used um, that one. I would use the Dynacomp, right? But most of these names you should recognize, especially if you go over here to the Overdrive. So there's a Tube Screamer, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan's favorite. Here's a Rat, right? You got the, um, it should be an OD1. Here's the Metal Zone, right, by Boss. Here's a, a Muzz, right? I mean, a fu sorry, a Muff Fuzz, right? You know, which is mocked after the Big Muff. Um, so if they have presets, you can click here. If I turn this on, now, remember, I can set all this, and it's really cool. Let's look at when it makes sense. So here's my preamp, okay? The preamp, again, I have an orange crunch. I have a stack. Um, if I scroll down, I actually have to have 5150. Here's a, a tweed, right? Uh, a deluxe crutch, a clean twin, right? Um, so a VO, which I'm assuming is Vox. I could be wrong, but that's just the way I would guess at it. Um, and then when I come on down, like I said, there's a 5150 in here, which is right there. That would be your Van Halen. Um, then I can set the bass, the mid, the treble. I can even do it, you know, just by tapping it in over here if I want to. Um, so that is really, really cool. Um, I think it was on full range, right? Now, if I come in, let's look at my delay. Now, Gilmore was famous for his delay. Um, and here I would probably pick a tap delay, a tape delay. Sorry, not a tap. Um, if I had a tap, I would tap out the, the beats, right? Um, and then if I wanted to set it, I'd probably set my delay. That's fine. Feedback, I'd probably have a little bit shorter. Um, my delay time, though, I'd probably put it down more to 750, uh, just to have just to have a slight echo in there, right? Nothing massive. And I think that would look good, or sound good, I'm sorry. 
Um, but that's all I got to do. Now, when I turn this on, unfortunately, you look at my screen, it turns on the dot on the GT1. So you can see it. And when I mean the dot, there's little buttons across the top. If you remember those, if not, go back and look at the video. Um, but so we got our pedal, our, I'm sorry, we got our pedal, which is our foot pedal. We got our, um, our FX, our FX pedal, which your compressor always comes first in the chain, right? But I have a limiter. I have other things I can do here, including, um, a pitch shifter if I want to, right? So I can do that one as well. Um, now I can change this because I'm not going to save it, which is fine. Um, and then I got my overdrive. I got my preamp. I got my noise gate. I got my um, my foot volume. So if I'm using the pedal as a volume pedal, uh, the truth is I'd probably move that to the front, right? Which that's all I got to do is to move it to the front, okay? Uh, it's just grab it and move it around. Uh, just mainly because I'd want it to come in before all these other, but they probably put it after the noise gate, to be honest with you. I've got another another FX, which is more along the lines of your um, of your modulation pedals, flanger, rotor, you know, just things like that. A course pedal, if I want a course, I can click on it. Um, I want it, and I don't know what stereo 2 is, but we'll take mono. That's fine. And that's pretty good for me, right? Um, delay, a reverb. And then this last one is your master. Okay, so it's like if you're running into a mixing board. How do I set my gains, my lows, my mids, my highs? And then, of course, my out, in this case, I'm running to speakers. But what if I'm doing a combo amp, a stack, you know? Um, what if I'm doing in the return of my amp, which is pretty cool because I can turn most of this off and just use just a few of these pedals in the return of my amp, right? That's really cool. Now, um, with seeing that, that's really all it is. But if I go over here, let's look at a few more things, then we'll end this because I know the other videos were long. If I click on this, this is kind of a more of a flat view. Okay, so same thing you got going across here, what's being used, you know, pitch shifter, the fuzz, uh, you know, if it's not being used, it's turned off. Um, so, but you can change it here in this view as well, but I kind of like the view we had it. The other thing is the CTL EXP. Now that's very important because what that is, is that is the special buttons I was talking about. So on the GT1, you have that CTL1. Okay, that's this one right here. The CTL1 is going to turn on this FX2 which is this one, okay? So I can assign it which button I want it to turn on. So let's say I had another expression, okay? Um, we'll just call it CTL2, right? So if you had the GT5 or 7 or whatever it is, then I could turn that on as my overdrive, okay? So when they click on it, and we'll put it to a toggle, which means you turn it on and off, right? So whenever I click that one, then it's going to turn in my overdrive, so I get that solo effect, if you remember when we were doing um, Shining and Crazy Diamond, I had to reach over and push the button. Well, in this case, I can just turn it on to my extra pedal. The other thing, too, is you have your expression pedals, one and two. Those are your foot switches, right? What I call foot switches. Everything's a foot switch because you touch with your foot. But the foot pedals, right? The thing that you, it looks like you put your foot on, the volume, the wah-wah, things like that. Um, that's where they go. So you have a lot of flexibility that you could do. Now, if I'm playing a gig, I could say, okay, let's start here. I'll go to the next one. Each one of these can have its own complete settings. And if you go back to here, you'll actually see that. So, right, little wing, let's go back to the preamp because it's easier to see. Right, so if I look here, uh, smoke on the water, or smoke on lakes, what it was called. Um, smells like uh, two. <laughs> it's a big lead, right? So, a lot of these I can just click on. Let's go pick one of these weird ones. I thought I saw something that said David lead. What was that? Anyway, I still got to play with this myself. Now, the P's are the presets. You can't change those. But you can start with one of those as a starting point and then save it. The best thing to do is to uh, grab one up here that you like and kind of modify it. Like, here's a comp crunch lead. Uh, they're using a deluxe amp. Um, they have an FX. This is a compressor. They have the, the preamp. They have a delay. And they have a reverb, which is a hall. And that's all they have on this one, right? So most of the work's probably here in the deluxe. Uh, bass, mid, trail, presence. No, not really. It's pretty pretty straightforward, actually, to be honest with you. But that's how this works, and it's really cool. Now, once all this is done, you can save it as right, okay? Um, once you do that, let's click on library. This is going to kill it for a few seconds uh, because I've played with this library like crazy. Uh, this tone center, I've downloaded <laughs> everything that I thought was cool. And stuck in my libraries. Now, here's the one thing that I said was negative about the GT1, is I think you can only have one playlist, which is what you're looking at here, which really is 200 settings. That's really not bad. But if you notice, I call this one GT1 Tim. I can edit it. 
Now, these are ones that I've kind of went in and edited a little bit. Now, these ones that you heard me do the songs on, I, I kind of just grabbed them and stuck them over because, like, here are you going to go, Sweet Home Alabama, Smoke. So I think I grabbed just this one, to be honest with you, and stuck it over. Um, but, like, these I try to get from the Internet. Uh, that one I got from the Internet. That's the Shannon one. I did go in and modify it once I was over here because I had to tweak it for my pickups and stuff. Um, but once you're done, if I highlight one, now, see, I can say create a live set. This is a live I think I call them play sets or playlists or whatever. They're actually called live sets. I apologize about that. But I can create one. And then I can export it, save it off to my drive. I can share it or upload it to somebody else, right? Um, I can import one. I can back it up, which is kind of the same thing, um, except for it just kind of backs it up to where you can't see it. Um, and then the apply live set. That's what somebody was complaining about on one of the um, – one of the I don't know what it's called, not news groups, but anyway, where you go in and – forms that's what they call them but anyway so they were complaining because nobody showed them once you create this how do you save it back to your to the board right so you just hit apply live set now that small thing is you can only do one at a time like i if i do this one i can't have this one okay so i try to make sure i have a bunch in here that i like and then i apply it back and the same thing the editor the editor is looking at what's on the pedal right on the board so if i start moving one and if i save it right then it saves it back to the board. If I go to one of these and start modifying these, then I'd have to apply it to the board. Anyway, so it's a really cool tool. There's a lot of great things. Like there is a tuner. There's a play, which I, I thought was kind of weird. They went through the, the problem of putting a play in there, which means – let's go back to editor because it's kind of cool. I can upload a song, and I can cut part of it and kind of just repeat it, right? So I just try to, uh, um, so I just try to repeat one in there. Um, and you can change the pitch, the speed. So if you're working on practicing, I thought it was kind of weird they went through this much trouble to do this, but didn't add a tuner. I mean, not a tuner. I'm sorry. There's a tuner. They didn't add, here's the tuner. They didn't add a metronome. Now on the board, if you press the two buttons, the first two, that's your tuner. If you press the last two, uh, with your foot, that is actually a loop. I don't remember how long it is, but you do have a loop. And I was going to play it on this video, but dude, this video is getting long. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. It's definitely worth $200. Um, I um, have pedals that cost more than $200, right? So this is like all those pedals into one. Um, practice, small gigs, right? Um, definitely studio, you know, just set up your playlist. Um, it's good for all that stuff. It's very clean, at least in my opinion. Um, I like it. I think it's definitely worth the bucks. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you have any questions. Just reach out to me.